Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, as there are more and more browsers that are taking on the ARM architecture, I think it's interesting to note that a lot of companies have a pretty good sense that ARM will be the future of Windows. Even Google Chrome will, has an ARM version now. So that's interesting. I think it's the browser wars transporting themselves to what a lot of uh, companies think is the future. But uh, what's interesting to note also about the uh, AI version of Windows 11 that will come out for ARM chips is that we have uh, noticed in the latest builds that AI components within the Windows 11 architecture will be a separate update that will have its own page so or its own a section in Windows Update. So if you go into Update History, not only now will you have other updates, definition updates, and the standard updates, you will have AI component updates visible. So you'll be able to see all the apps, all the components that have to do with artificial intelligence. Um, I would guess that at some point when Windows PCs on x64, uh, Intel and uh, AMD have NPUs and have AI component capabilities, that this will also be the case for these computers. So all the components will be in a separate section, which is actually a good thing because you want to have separate sections for different types of components and different types of features within Windows and probably be able to uh, even remove some components if you want to. Um, what will be interesting to see also is in the app section, will they have AI type apps separately tagged? That would also be an interesting uh, thing to look at because um, knowing that you know what's AI and what's not in your PC will be probably important for the future. But it's uh, obvious here that we see that Microsoft's pushing towards an AI future that's going to be quite uh, important. And uh, what will that bring for our future as PCs move on and people upgrade their PCs to new PCs that will have these capabilities? I think we're in for an interesting future. A lot of people here on the comments, uh, you know, saying, well, I don't need any AI in my PC. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what it brings. Um, personally, AI Explorer, the way I see it, the way it seems to work, I'm kind of interested. I think it could be an interesting feature if well done. Uh, will it be all that it can be? That's the biggest problem with Microsoft. A lot of this is going to do that, 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 this is the new component. You get there and it's like, well, you don't even have half of what you said we should have. And then at the end, a lot of it is abandoned. So we'll see what future is going to bring. And of course, next week, um, we're going to have the uh, Microsoft event, which is going to happen on uh, Monday, the 20th. Uh, this is going to be also giving us a lot of details of the future of Windows 11 and Windows AI. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.